Welcome back. Now the details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Saturday performed Eid al-Adha prayers at Al-Mushir Tantawi's mosque in New Cairo. Prayers were attended by the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Sheikh Ahmed al-Tayyib, Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, Minister of Defense Mohammed Zaki, as well as senior state officials. The prayers began by reciting verses from the Holy Quran by Sheikh Hagag al-Hindawi. This was followed by the Eid glorifications and then the Eid sermon. The sermon tackled the story of the Holy Prophet Ibrahim with his son, Holy Prophet Ismail, which reflects the highest degrees of sacrifice, submission and obedience to the orders of Allah Almighty. Marking the start of Eid al-Adha on Saturday, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi exchanged greeting cables with kings and leaders of the Arab and Islamic countries. President al-Sisi wished the Arab and Islamic leaders and their peoples peace and prosperity. President said he hoped the spirit of solidarity would prevail among the nation's peoples in order to realize a better future for the entire Arab and Muslim nations. Meanwhile, President al-Sisi sent a greeting cable to Egyptian expats on the occasion of Eid al-Adha wishing them development and progress. President also received greeting cables from top state officials. President Sisi received phone calls from the Emir of Qatar and the Emir of the Tabuk region. He also held phone calls with leaders of the UAE, Bahrain, Algeria, Kuwait, Tunisia, the head of Sudan's sovereign council, Lebanese prime minister, Iraqi president and prime minister. President also greeted the leaders on the occasion of Eid al-Adha and wished their countries and peoples peace, progress and prosperity. Egypt's First Lady, Madame Antazar al-Sisi, greeted the Egyptian people and the Arab nation on the occasion of Eid al-Adha. The First Lady wished them all peace and prosperity on the holy occasion. Millions of Muslims across the globe are celebrating Eid al-Adha on Saturday, one of the biggest holidays of the Islamic calendar. Known as the Feast of Sacrifice, the revered observance coincides with the final rites of the annual Hajj in Saudi Arabia. We have details. Thousands of Muslim pilgrims cast pebbles in the stoning of the devil ritual, marking the start of the Eid al-Adha on Saturday as a Hajj pilgrimage that drew 900,000 visitors began winding down. Enormous crowds of white-robed worshippers thronged Mina near Mecca in western Saudi Arabia for the stoning ritual where each threw seven pebbles at three large concrete walls representing Satan. The pilgrims threw stones that they had collected in nearby Muzdalifa. In 2020 and 2021, when COVID restrictions reduced numbers to tens of thousands, worshippers were handed sanitized pebbles in seal bags. The Hajj started on Wednesday at the Grand Mosque in Mecca before an overnight stay in tents and prayers on Mount Arafat where the Prophet Muhammad delivered his final sermon. After the stoning ritual, pilgrims returned to Mecca to perform a farewell tawaf circling seven times around the Kaaba. An hour after sunrise on Saturday, the Kaaba was already surrounded by pilgrims, whilst others at the Grand Mosque prayed on the first day of Eid. Eid al-Adha, the Feast of Sacrifice, marks the end of the Hajj. The Hajj, usually one of the world's largest annual religious gatherings, is one of the five pillars of Islam and must be undertaken by all Muslims with the means at least once in their lifetime. And uh, moving on uh, to more news, this time moving to Tunisia. President